going on. All right, so we just uh, we're finishing up a manufacturing order. Um, coming to be picked up later today, so we just got to uh, finish up by doing some printing. And on these products, we're doing a screen printed tag. Um, so finish them up right before they come. All right, so early, some of our earlier episodes, we talked about and showed um, trying to get the screen printing up and running and implement, implementing into our process. Um, and since since then, it's really been a big tool for us. You know, not just from like you know basic printing standpoint, but to be able to do tags on private label orders, to do you know all sorts of you know different specs that people are looking for, and to be able to provide the service along with the cut and sew has uh, you know worked out exactly how we wanted to. Let's see what we got over there. Thanks, mom. Well, some smalls. But yeah, if you don't mind, these are mediums. I got the generic tags out there. We got the generic tag here. So the these and that. Yep, and then the small gets pressed there. Yeah. And then let me see what, that, what we can do for these here. And then with these, these, we're all good to go. So, as we're finishing up this, also, they're coming to pick this up. Also, Rachel is finishing up their first batch of samples. So while they're coming and picking up their order, they'll also be checking out and picking up their samples to then test. Um, you know, basically prepare for their next release. So it all kind of happens simultaneously. Yeah. Throwing some tags on here. These are our generic tags. Keep it simple. Tell you what size it is, where it's made here in America. And then, uh, yeah, it's good to go. All right, client just came in, um, gave them their samples. So the sample process is pretty much the beginning of that release. Um, whether it's an, an ongoing release, your second, third, fourth, whatever, your first one, it's always kind of the first step. Because now, so now she's gonna take them, evaluate them, um, sizing, any adjustments, shorten, lengthen, whatever it might be, test out the fabrics, and then she'll come back to us um, with the feedback, and we'll kind of go from there for the, for the next batch of samples. So production turnaround time is not only the important turnaround time, sample turnaround time is just as important because that's what gets you to basically having your release and production done. And so we always, we always have a focus to getting them done as fast as possible for you so you can kind of test them out. If you're looking at other places, I mean you might be talking weeks back and forth, especially overseas, just the shipping alone it could take weeks and weeks and weeks. Here we try to get everything done in days. All right, we just had uh, we just had our client come in for our, for the pickup of her order, and then also uh, to see her new samples. Um, I think it went well. We, as I was kind of talking before, we basically produce their products um, with a screen printed tag, and there's many different ways you can do it. Um, but it just you know by adding that method, um, it kind of helps our process, and also whenever we work with any client, private label or custom like contract manufacturing, we always include the care label and the branded label on the inside to our services, um, and kind of really embed it with the cost. So it's all in one, you know, kind of easy, easy order for our customer. We do do the traditional sew on tag, um, but it's you know. There's a time and a place to use the traditional tag. Otherwise, for, for sportswear, it's good to use a, a screen printed tag, you know, it's much more flush. Or we sometimes do a, um, a digital uh, cutout on a uh, heat transfer material, you know, depending on, you know, depending on what the product is and the material and fabric of the actual product. So 
we because we work with a lot of different people now from casual more cottons rayons to performance of like the nylon spandex all that type of stuff we have a lot of experience with a broad range of stuff and so we always try to guide people to the kind of the right the right tag that will perform best for them when we first bought our equipment so that way we could do all this stuff in-house it was kind of a rough and rocky start for us because we do things a little bit differently in order to basically fulfill a 12 unit minimum for people. So we're not, so every time we do something, we have to get it right for our process. But now that we've got it implemented, it's working out perfect for us. And it's allowing people to get tags done with their 12 unit minimums. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and watching. If you have any questions at all about our process or the way we do things or even how we can help you, leave us a comment, send us a DM, or shoot us an email. We want to hear from you. We want to help you. We'll see you next episode. Yes!